How to build a soundproof generator box. When you have power outages or need lighting for outdoor activities, a generator comes in handy. However, generators are very loud and annoying. To minimize the noise produced by the generator, you can build your generator sound box. There are things you should know about a soundproof box. This box will not make your generator silent 100%, but it will minimize the noise making it bearable. This is because there's some areas on the generator you will not cover because it requires air to run. Covering it up completely can make it overheat. A generator quiet box should be portable and easy to assemble and disassemble. You do not want to build a box that you cannot store properly or take it with you the next time you go camping to your favorite camping site. Before you start building the soundproof box, you will have to get various materials that will help you in the process. Tools and equipment you are going to need. 1. Measuring tape 2. Ruler 3. A pencil and a piece of paper 4. Medium density fiberboard 5. TMS mass loaded vinyl 6. Green glue sealant. 7. Foam mats 8. Ventilation duct 9. Saw screws 10. Drill paint of your choosing here is how you make a noise reducing generator box. Step 1. Take measurements. Generators come in different sizes and shape, therefore, it is essential to measure your generator. With the right measurements, you will be able to build a generator box that fits perfectly. Using a measuring tape, take the measurements of your generator and use your pencil to note them down on the paper. Ensure to add an inch or two to accommodate the insulation materials. Step 2. Cut the medium density fiber boards. Using your measurements take the medium density fiber boards and cut them to specific sizes. Use the ruler and pencil to measure and label your measurements on the fiber boards. If you are confident enough that these measurements are right cut out the boards using the saw. Step 3. Set up the ventilation holes. We saw that a generator requires ventilation to minimize overheating. Therefore while making a generator quiet box, you will need to consider this. Measure the diameter of the ventilation duct of your generator and mark on your fiber board. The first hole should be at the top but towards the side and not the center. Mark the second hole to the opposite side of the fiber board that will be used as a wall. After measurement, it's time to lay the quiet box down. Ensure that all four walls are surrounding the top. Step 4. Add the TMS mass loaded vinyl insulation. This vinyl insulation is made of virgin materials that are free. It has a high tensile and tears strength making it durable. Apart from making a quiet generator box, it can be used to soundproof your house, apartment, studios, and other areas or things that need to be quiet. It also comes with a unique sizing of 16 square feet for your smaller projects. Again take the measurements of your sound box and use them to cut the vinyl insulator. Take the cut material and glue it directly to the inside of the fiber boards. Step 5. Seal the first layer. Now that you have made the first layer you need to ensure that it is entirely in place. Take the green glue and generously apply primarily to the edges. It is best suited for the tips because it has soundproof properties. Using this glue will ensure there are no holes or spaces left behind that will prevent effective soundproofing. Step 6. Add the foam mat. You can get foam mats from your local stores. They are very soft hence preventing noise from bouncing off. They, therefore, provide additional soundproofing through sound absorption. You should use your measurements and mark them on the foam mat. Cut it out and place it as a second layer after the vinyl insulation. Take the green glue and again seal the edges ensuring no sound escapes. Step 7. Assemble your portable generator sound enclosure. Take your screws and drill and attach all the walls. Screws will make it easy for you to make changes in the future or disassemble it for storage. Step 8. Install ventilation ducts as mentioned earlier, it is essential to ensure that your generator has an uninterrupted air supply to prevent overheating. Ventilation ducts should, therefore, be used for this purpose. Ensure that they have bent to manipulate sounds that travel in linear paths. These bends will ensure decreased sound production because the sound will be trapped inside. 
Place the ducts into the holes and make sure they are tight. Step 9. Custom make your generator box. Your generator quite box will not be complete without adding some fun to it. Take the paint that you prefer and spray around. This gives it a unique look. Also, a handle will make your box more portable. Take the handle and screw it on the top part of the box. You should use a piece of the medium density fiberboard on the inside to serve as backing and screw your handle to that exact point. Backing up your handle will provide additional support. Your box is now ready to go. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and share.